Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation using Green Poison. Uh, so of course Green Poison has been out for just a little while, um, but recently it was updated with support for the iPod Touch second generation as well as the iPod Touch third generation 8GB MC model, whatever you want to call it. Basically it will support all iPod Touches except for the first generation. Uh, so uh, I have a couple of questions I would do want to answer before we begin. This is a fully untethered jailbreak, so no worries, it should be just fine. You can go ahead and shut it off, turn it on, any, uh, however many times you want. You will not have to worry about it being a tethered jailbreak. Um, other than that, it should be really simple. All you need to do is make sure that your iPod Touch is on iOS 4.1, the latest firmware, and you're ready to begin. Um, so the first step is going to be to download the program itself. Uh, so all you need to do for this is to go to greenpoison.com. Of course, we'll have the link in the description below. So go ahead and go to greenpoison.com, and you're going to go ahead and have three options. Um, so basically, you just go ahead and pick depending on what kind of operating system you are running on your computer. So if you have Mac, click Mac. If you have Linux, click Linux. And of course, if you have Windows, click Windows. Uh, so for this tutorial, I will be using Windows. However, it pretty much works the same way no matter what. Uh, so, now at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, now, there's one last thing before we begin that I do want to let you guys know about. Um, you should go ahead, at this point, plug your device into iTunes and let it fully sync. Now, by doing this, you will back up all of your data. Now, you should not lose your data in the jailbreak, so nothing should change. However, there's always a possibility of something going wrong, and since you go ahead and synced with iTunes, you should be okay, so no matter what, a quick restore will get you back to normal. So go ahead and just go ahead and sync with iTunes, and now we're going to go ahead and need to shut your device off. So simply go ahead and hold the power button, and then we'll go ahead and slide to power off, and wait for the pinwheel, and there we go, so we're off. Okay, so now at this point, let's go ahead and do the jailbreak itself. So it should not take just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put it into DFU mode. Uh, now this is going to be a really simple process. You basically hold the power button for three seconds, then you start holding the power and home for 10 seconds, and then you release the power button, and you keep holding the home button. It's very simple. Um, I will go ahead and walk you through it, as well as the program has very clear instructions on how to do this. If you drop a button, or for whatever reason, go ahead and just hold both the power and the home button. It should cycle back through, and you can go ahead and try it again. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do it. So we're going to go ahead and click Prepare to Jailbreak. Now it says go ahead, get ready to jailbreak. Run, three, two, one. Start holding the power button. Three, two, one. Now we're going to go ahead and hold the power and the home button. We're going to do this for seven seconds. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and just walk. I mean, just go ahead and watch it as it goes. Three, two, one. Now we're going to go ahead and remove that and continue to hold the home button. So it says 15 seconds, but as soon as the uh, little message disappears, we will know that it's done. So, there we go. Okay, so at this point, once you have successfully entered DFU mode on your device, and the way to tell is it will say just jailbreak, everything else will disappear on the green poison screen, then you are going to be good to go. So at this point, you're, basically all you need to do is just set your device aside and click jailbreak. So now it will go ahead and take just a moment. So as you see here, there will be some loading bars. And I'll go ahead and just show you. Your screen will turn white, but it will only take just a minute, and your device will be jailbroken. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this a minute to go ahead and cycle through, and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so it just finished up. So as soon as we go ahead and open it up, we will see a new application on our home screen, which is called Loader. So we'll go ahead and just press on it. Um, this should be really pretty simple. So all it's going to be is, do you want to install City or not? And of course, that's the whole point. So we're going to go ahead and press it. Hit install Cydia. Okay, so after just a minute, it went ahead and respringed our device, and now we have Cydia on our device. Uh, so there you go, guys. It's as simple as that. Now all you need to do is go into Cydia, start downloading all your great jailbreaking applications. And in fact, if you don't know what to do, I'll actually have an annotation on the screen uh, with some of my favorite, personal favorite jailbreak applications. So kind of help you get started. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm constantly making videos about jailbreaking, showing you know all the new firmware, the devices, all that, to keep you up to date about jailbreaking. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching.